But for the president's intervention, Charles Edubwahin, Minister of State in charge of finance, and his former boss, Ken Oforiata, should have long been sacked. The president had asked the majority MPs in parliament, who had called for their heads, to allow them finish up with the ongoing IMF negotiations and prepare the 2023 budget statement. However, that life support failed the Harvard-trained banker, Charles Edubwahin. The president, Ekufuado, on November 14, terminated his appointment with immediate effect for allegations leveled against him in Anasa's latest expose, Galamse Economy. According to a statement signed by the director of communications at the presidency, Eugene Ahi, the matter has also been referred to the office of the special prosecutor. But what really are these allegations that have triggered the minister's immediate sack? A transcript of the excerpt of the documentary purports, the minister told an undercover agent of the Tiger IPI who posed as an investor desirous of doing banking business in Ghana that the vice president, Dr. Mohamedou Baumia, is the go-to person for such deals. He is reported as adding the VIP would take 200,000 US dollars as an appearance fee. The Minister of State is also said to have demanded a 20% cut of the $500 million investment. The sacked minister is also said to have suggested to the investors to buy government bonds, but the investors did not seem interested. Again, the minister purportedly assured the investors he could bring the president on board the deal using his personal relations with the president whom he described as an uncle. The Vice President, Dr. Mohamedou Baumia, will not stand his name being dragged through the mud. He has since disassociated himself from the comments made by Edubwahin and called for his dismissal and investigation. It is not clear if the call of the Vice President has anything to do with the Minister's sacking, but private legal practitioner Martin Pebu who has in the past accused Charles Edubwahin of conflict of interest, says the termination is long overdue. Spokesperson for the over 80 NPP MPs who initially called for the minister's heads, Andy Apiakubi, says the sacking of Mr. Edubwahin comes as welcoming news and that they are looking forward to the sacking of Ken Ofuriata as well. It is yet to be seen how the sacking of the minister would affect the ongoing IMF meetings and if the excuse of keeping him and his former boss for the deal by the president will be tenable after all.